up everybody, it's Charlie and I'm back. So a couple weeks ago, I got a question from one of you and it was basically what's worse, gentrification or white flight? And so I wanna answer that question today. So I think we can answer this question by basically breaking down the definition of those two terms. So to start out with gentrification. Gentrification is defined as the process whereby the character of a poor urban area is changed by wealthier people moving in, improving housing, and attracting new businesses, typically displacing current inhabitants in the process. In my experience and in my neighborhood, I see a lot of gentrification happening by big developers. They'll come and look at a poor urban neighborhood and the low housing costs in that neighborhood and they'll go through buying a bunch of houses, flipping them and improving the property value so that the whole neighborhood has to pay higher property taxes. So because of that, people end up getting priced out of their homes and can't afford to stay there. Then they end up selling their houses sometimes to these predatory developers who were flipping these houses in the first place. So it's a whole cycle. Um, I've also seen wealthier white families look at a poor urban neighborhood and do that same thing of buying a house for cheap, flipping it, and not really planning to live there or keep up with it, but more to rent and to have people kind of moving in and out of that community, which basically breaks down the soul of the community because it's not like longtime residents staying there and taking care of each other. It's like renters who a lot of times don't blend in with the fabric of the neighborhood. And not to say like they're all white and that's why they don't blend in but to say that they don't ingratiate themselves into the heart of a community. And I've seen that in so many cases. So that's gentrification. And like I said, it can happen on an individual level. It can happen on a developer level. And I think it can also happen in policies. There's policies that kind of encourage people to gentrify. That's why gentrification is bad and should be avoided. White flight, on the other hand, is defined as the sudden or gradual large scale migration of white people from areas becoming more racially or ethnically diverse. So white flight is more about white people in particular who choose to leave their neighborhoods because black people or people of color in general are starting to move in. It's standard racism of avoiding people who are not like you. A lot of times this is based on fears that people of color will come in and lower the property values of their own homes, that they'll not take care of their houses or I don't know, all of these basically just trumped up racist fears that because these people are diverse that they won't have the same standards of care which is not true at all. People of color take care of their houses and it's racist to make a statement that we just blanketly don't. Um, but like I said, I do find that a lot of white flight is based on fear and racism and that's why it should be avoided at all costs. I hope this video was helpful in kind of breaking down the difference between gentrification and white flight. Gentrification is more about uh, moving in and changing the culture of a neighborhood and pricing people out of that neighborhood so that they can't afford to stay where they've always been. Whereas white flight is about leaving a neighborhood that, that you already are in because it's getting more diverse and that overt racism that comes along with that. When it comes down to which I think is worse, I think that they're both pretty much equal um, and should be avoided at all costs. So that's kind of my answer. I love to hear what you guys think about all of this, so comment below and be sure to like this video and I'll see you guys next week. Deuce!